Alright, good evening. Today I will show you how I do ACL analytics uh, based on a client requirement. Alright, they are asking me to find. Uh, or let me open ACL. Alright, as you can see here, here is the uh, data which they want me to find invoices which was done on a weekend because the office is closed. So by right, it shouldn't happen. Okay, now. Uh, invoice is represented under the transaction type here under the word IN alright so whatever is there is not IN will be excluded so what I'm going to do now here is I'm going to abstract those which is invoice only alright now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click here IN I'm going to right click I'm going to click quick filter equals to so it is filtering everything which is IN alright now I'm going to abstract this. Alright. Uh, I'll give it the output table called the invoice table. Okay. Alright. Yes. Whatever it is. Yes. Alright. Now I have a separate uh, table called invoice which focuses everything only on invoice. Alright. Now what I'm going to do is. I need to find the invoice date which falls on a weekend, which is a Saturday, Saturday and Sunday. Now I'm, I'm going to do that. Alright. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to add a column. Alright. Okay. Expression. Now here it is. Date of week. Parenthesis. Date and close parenthesis. Alright. This will tell you uh, the number of dates. Date, wait, let me say this date of week all right this will tell you uh, what day does it fall but it is it will be represented in numbers all right I'm going to click OK I'm going to click OK oh look at that look at that so you can see one six five one this is the first day of the week sixth day of the week five day of the week so what do these numbers represent is it Monday is it Tuesday so I'm going to do another column all right add another column expression and I'm going to put CDOW date now I'll show you what this 5 represent alright okay let's see I'm going to save this as CDOW alright I verify it is good alright I'm going to click OK and I'm going to click OK oh look at that look at that you see the 5 represents is the 5 letters of the character here see 1 2 3 4 5 it is 5 so what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this back into uh, hold on I'm going to change this column back into all right 10 okay oh, look at that. all right so that uh, you will have a full name all right oh look at that look at that so it's Sunday Friday Thursday so now we have all of the uh, days all right now I'm going to extract only Saturday and Sunday. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on Sunday. I'm going to go quick filter and equals. So I get everything which is Sunday. All right, now I'm going, how do I go input Saturday as well? Very, very easy. I go to quick filter or equals. Now we get two uh, expression here. So I just change it to Saturday. Oh, look at that. Look at that. So I get Saturday and Sunday. Oh, so how many records is this? Very, very simple. Data, count, and OK. As you can see here, you have 269 out of 588 records. All right. So it is very, very handy. Very, very convenient. So this is the type of report that you will show to your client or your boss if they want to know. All right. That's all for today. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. Bye.